The frilled neck lizard, Glamidosaurus keniae, also known as the frilled lizard or frilled dragon, is a species of lizard, which is found mainly in northern Australia and southern New Guinea. This species is the only member of the genus Glamidosaurus. Its common name comes from the large frill around its neck, which usually stays folded against the lizard's body. C. Kenia is largely arboreal, spending the majority of the time in the trees. The lizard's diet consists mainly of insects and small vertebrates. The frill necked lizard is a relatively large lizard, averaging 85 centimeters feet, in total length, including tail. It is also kept as an exotic pet. Taxonomy British zoologist John Edward Gray described the frill necked lizard in 1825 as Clamidosaurus keniae, from a specimen collected by Captain Philip Parker King. The frill necked lizard is known as Curlamarnu to the Nyingamarta people of the Pilbara. Citation needed, in the Jawoin language of the Catherine area, it is a lin. Description the frilled neck lizard is so called because of the large ruff of skin which usually lies folded back against its head and neck. The neck frill is supported by long spines of cartilage which are connected to the jaw bones. When the lizard is frightened, it produces a startling diamatic display, it gapes its mouth, exposing a bright pink or yellow lining, it spreads out its frill displaying bright orange and red scales, raises its body, and sometimes holds its tail above its body. This reaction is used for territorial displays, to discourage predators, and during courtship. The lizard is a relatively large member of the Agamid family, growing up to 85 centimeters feet. It is capable of bite but a low commotion. The frilled neck lizard does not have a standard color, but its body is darker than its frill. Distribution and Habitat The frilled neck lizard is found mainly in the northern regions of Australia and southern New Guinea. The lizard is also, on rare occasions, found in the lower desert regions of Australia. The lizard inhabits humid climates such as those in the tropical savanna woodlands. The frill neck lizard is an arboreal lizard, meaning it spends a majority of its time in the trees. The lizard ventures to the floor only in search of food, or to engage in territorial conflicts. The arboreal habitat may be a product of the lizard's diet, which consists mainly of small arthropods and vertebrates, usually smaller lizards. However, the trees are most importantly used for camouflage. There is not one standard color, rather, coloration varies according to the lizard's environment. For example, a lizard found in a drier, clay-filled environment will most likely have a collage of oranges, reds, and browns, whereas a lizard found in a damper, more tropical region will tend to show darker browns and grays. This suggests they are adapted to their habitats, their colors are a form of camouflage. Diet Like many lizards, frill neck lizards are carnivores, feeding on cicadas, beetles, termites, and mice. They especially favor butterflies and moths, their larvae even more so. Though insects are their primary source of food, they also consume spiders and occasionally other lizards. Like most members of the agamids, dragons, frill neck lizards employ an ambush method of hunting, lying in wait for their prey. When the lizards eat, they eat in abundance. These binge periods usually occur during the wet season, when they ingest hundreds to thousands of illet, flying, ants or termites. Thermoregulation the frilled neck lizard is ectothermic and maintains its body temperature by basking for up to 30 minutes citation needed, to achieve an average of 2 to 3 degrees Celsius above the surrounding temperature. Weather conditions, including sunlight, are the main factors regulating the lizard's temperature. 
This basking period usually occurs in the morning to early afternoon. During the basking period, the lizard will be found near the bottom of a tree and out from under the forest canopy. This ensures maximum exposure to sunlight. However, the lizard's final internal temperature depends mainly on the ambient temperature of the surrounding environment. The lizard's frill is thought to aid in thermoregulation, reproduction and sexual dimorphism. The frilled neck lizard is sexually dimorphic, meaning that there are physical differences between male and females. This dimorphism is apparent in the length of the lizard, the male is generally larger than the female. There is little to no dimorphism in the color of the lizard. Frill-necked lizards breed in the early wet season from September to October. Adult males fight for mates, displaying their frills and biting each other. One to two clutches of 6 to 25 eggs are laid from early to mid-wet season from November to February. The eggs are laid in a nest 5 to 20 centimeters below ground and usually in sunny areas. Incubation takes two to three months. Gender is partly temperature determined, with extreme temperatures producing exclusively females, and intermediate temperatures, 29 to 35 degrees Celsius, producing equal numbers of males and females. Their eggs are soft-shelled. Predators The species' main predators are eagles, owls, larger lizards, snakes, dingoes and quills. In culture, a frill-necked lizard was featured on the reverse of the Australian two-cent coin until 1991. A frill-necked lizard, known as Lizzie, was the mascot for the 2000 Paralympic Games. The emblem of the Australian Army's Regional Force Surveillance Unit, NOR Force, Northwest Mobile Force of the Kimberleys in Northern Territory is the frill-necked lizard. Because of its unique appearance and behavior, the frill-necked lizard is commonly used in film and television. A frill-necked lizard named Frank appears in the Disney film The Rescuers Down Under and one named Osgood appears in the anime Newsles. In the film Jurassic Park, the dinosaur Dilophosaurus was portrayed with a fictional neck frill which was raised during attack, similar to that of a frilled neck lizard. The movie generated an increase in demand for frill neck lizards as pets, and appeared in Thai film King Kakeya Sit by Sam Potsens in 1985.